Hello again guys. So uh, first of all I want to apologize. Uh, I am filming with my telephone. But um, I hope uh, this video will help you very much. Um, so uh, lots of people uh, are complaining that uh, they get uh, a black screen when trying to mine with the Asus F15. So um, I went um, a lot with this problem. So I want to share you uh, what you can do and what you cannot do. Uh, first of all, uh, let's see how it happens. Now we are opening the Phoenix Miner. So now it should uh, report a medium hash rate without the overclock. The thing is when uh, it goes at about uh, 68 degrees, the screen will go off. Let's start the afterburner. Now, this is the issue that many of you will, um, will face. Now, uh, all you can do is turn the values on the afterburn to zero. Now, start again the Phoenix Miner. Okay, now we wait for the values to stabilize. Okay, wait about now. Okay, now let's see if we can bring some medium values. Right. Okay, so now the screen went off. So some screens will maintain off some of them will uh, make this blink now to avoid this all you can do is almost close the lid i don't know why but this is the only option hope you can see now we will uh, start start it all over again Okay, let's see if this solves it. Always try to start the Phoenix Miner, uh, let it um, um, bring the stabilized values, don't overclock it as soon as possible. Okay, so now we will try, let's say, uh, just a moment it's a little bit harder with the, the telephone in one hand so now I'm trying uh, these values let's see so now you will see the screen won't go off okay the values are rising 49 50 so uh, you can uh, on this laptop you can uh, raise them raise raise the hash rate at about 51.7 let's try now I save them I think here no four okay let's try this one nope now I think this laptop won't let me uh, have these values uh, because uh, there is a BIOS problem. If you updated the BIOS to the latest version, you will be restricted. You will have a restrict restricted performance to mining. Uh, the thing is, all you have to do is to turn off the updates, Windows updates, as soon as possible after you install Windows then you go to services and uh, turn them off okay now it freeze you have to 
turn it off you will face lots of issues with um, a newer version of bios uh, as you can see i have here a lot a lot others other laptops they have no issues uh, mining at maximum performance and that's because uh, they do not have the latest bios version we will go through that a little bit later okay now let's let it start the Phoenix miner okay I set it up on the uh, system startup now let's just do this okay yep you will get lots of issues until it restarts i want to show you a laptop that i will review a bit later it's the asus a17 a 17 inch laptop with rtx 3070 now this laptop is mining 51.3 with no overclocking and that is very very nice because when it restarts you just put the miner on the startup and it goes into 51.3 uh, if you try to overclock it you will go like about um, 51.5 but uh, it will restart uh, you have lots of issues uh, trying to overclock it so for those this small value you you better leave it this way it has lots of um, I don't know if you can see it uh, vents here it's not hot like those laptops so uh, in my opinion this is the best laptop for mining but I will, uh, I will review it in another video later. Now let's see this one. Okay. Now we will uh, start the afterburner. Okay. That's the black screen. We'll do this. And the screen will go on. Okay. But we will turn on the phoenix miner again now i will go through also on the performance as you can uh, as you will see um, some laptops will not maintain the um, reported hash rate uh, like about if you can uh, bring 51 hash rate mega hash per second some of them will uh, crash will go to 0 or uh, 20 then rise back to 51 uh, that is another issue uh, due to the newer version of bios okay let me bring the overclocking values okay so now it went to 30 39 0 and uh, 680 the screen won't turn off as you can see and i think this is a good hash rate now sometimes this laptop crashes i and, and it does not crashes the values go to 20 or 30 and then rise up uh, to 51 let's see if that happens now yep it just went to 33 as you can see 25 no changes here 42 
now it, it will go up to 51 again Fifty one, as you can see, it will stay in here with little while and then go to thirty again. Yep, thirty two. So, this is a big issue, in my opinion. If you have a laptop, uh, that does this and you can return it do it do it as soon as possible now let's see why it he does this let's okay i opened it the screen went off now let's uh close the mining program and see the bios version we'll type ms info Okay, and enter. Now, as you can see, the BIOS version is 3.1.9. Now, uh, I had a, lo a lot of laptops. Here I have only three, but uh, in another room I have all about four laptops. Uh, all, all of them that have a value higher than 3.1.6 are facing this uh, issue. So uh, when they come as new, they have about uh, 313, 315 or 316. Now, all you have to do is not to update the BIOS version. If you do this, you will face these uh, issues and you cannot downgrade the BIOS. Let's see what BIOS does this laptop have. I have no issues with it. It's the same model. Let's see how I'm going to manage with one hand okay now if you have the problem with the closing display that's no problem because uh, you will find the better option to let them stand like this you don't need to watch them um, so that's not a big issue the bigger issue when it uh, when it crashes the mega hashes now let's see here now this one has the same uh, problem with the display but that's not a problem i will show you that the uh, hash rate will not crash and uh, it can maintain um, the same value let's start the phoenix miner <coughs> I hope it wants it wants for, from the beginning. Let's try this value. This is the maximum I can uh, obtain from it, and that's a good value. Okay, let's see. Yep, the display went off. That's not a problem. Okay. Now, let's see if this one crashes. It should go to about 51.7, which is a very good hash rate for this laptop. I'll stand here about one minute. If it does not crash, it is a good thing. <coughs> As you can see, it has no problem maintaining the same hash rate. Another good thing having uh, an older BIOS is that uh, you can uh, start the Phoenix Miner, then start the Afterburner and directly uh, activate the biggest values. It won't get you any errors, so that's a that's a big thing. Okay, as you can see, it maintains the same hash rate and no crashes. Now, let's close 
the miner so we can see the BIOS version. MS info. Now, as you can see, the BIOS version is 315. That's the version that came from the magazine. If you can say like that. And uh, as soon as I installed the Windows, I did I deactivated the Windows updates. If, do, if you want to deactivate the Windows updates, uh, you go to services. You type services. Okay. And you go to scroll down you have your windows update double click and you put it to manual or you can even disable it but on manual it asks you it asks you every time and you you reject it but it's safer to disable it or you can let it enabled but if you restart your computer if and it uh, asks you to update the BIOS, uh, cancel it. Do not let it update the BIOS. So I hope this video helps. Uh, closing the display, it's not a big issue. All you have to do is almost close it. You bring the values so you can maintain a stable hash rate and you put it like this to mine and Maybe you can uh, install a TeamViewer or Go uh, Chromecast Remote Desktop. Uh, excuse me, Google uh, Chrome Remote Desktop. And uh, you can access it from your personal computer. The big issue is when uh, it cannot maintain the same hash rate. And that's if you have uh, if you have the uh, newer version than 3.1.6. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Sorry for my English and sorry for my camera from my phone. I hope this helps and uh, we'll keep in touch. Bye.